everyone, I'm Amy. This is my very first blog for Thrifted Books, my brand new blog channel. I just wanted to start a vlog to talk about books and writing and the self-publishing industry, which I'm very involved in right now. Um, I have a BA in English with a concentration in creative writing and a minor in children's literature. I'm also an independent author. Um, my first book, Thin Spo, um, came out in October and I'm very proud of it. This is my little baby. Um, it's basically a novel written as a blog by a girl with anorexia. I wanted to start off my vlog with a book haul from bookstores because the blog is called Thrifted Books, so obviously I'm a big thrift, book thrift bookstore hunter. Even as an author, I'm an advocate for used bookstores. Even though the authors aren't getting a royalty from your purchase, I feel like anyone who wants to read my books, even if they're thrifted or pirated or wherever they come from, good for them. You know, reading is reading, and as long as you're reading, I'm totally fine with it. Um, so I've been thrifting for books for years. I have so many bookshelves in this room right now, I cannot even explain it. My books are overflowing everywhere. It's an addiction. But the first book I found was at the first Goodwill I went to, um, which my Goodwill that's closest to my house just expanded. However, I only found one book. So that goes to show that the bigger the Goodwill doesn't mean the bigger the book selection. Um, the, the, the only book I found there was The Second Summer of the Sisterhood, um, the second book in the um, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants um, series. I have not read the first one, but I figured, you know, it's $1.50, it's hardcover, I might as well buy it. I've seen the first movie, so if I do read it before I read the book, um, or I, if I do read this one before I read the first book, I don't think I'll be too behind, um, but I do have plans to buy the first book. I found one in the second Goodwill I went to across town but it was in really rough shape and I don't like to buy books, even if they're cheap. I don't like to buy them if they're in really bad condition. I feel like it's not really worth it. Um, so, that's that. The second book I bought, again at the second Goodwill I went to, which I hit the mother load at, um, was Conception by Kalisha Buchanan. I just absolutely fell in love with the cover of this book. I think it is beautiful. Um, and the storyline looks amazing. It's about um, a young black girl um, growing up in the 90s, thinking that her entire story is written for her because of her socioeconomic class and her race. And I feel like it's going to be a really awesome book, and I'm really excited to read it. Look at this cover. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. The second book I found at this Goodwill um, was Sarah Dessen's Lock and Key. Um, I really liked this cover. I thought it was really beautiful as well because you see with the slip cover on it looks like that but then you take it off and you have a hand holding the key with the lock. Um, this also belonged to someone named Sam. I've read a Sarah Dustin book before. I bought this right after the movie How to Deal came out. Um, it's got um, Someone Like You and That Summer um, combined. I only read Someone Like You because I really couldn't get into that summer, but Someone Like You was pretty good. So I figured I'd give Sarah Dust another shot and read this one just because the cover looks so great. Alright, um, the book I found after that was Chelsea Handler's My Horizontal Life. That is the second book I found of hers at Goodwill. I bought um, Are You There Vodka to Me Chelsea um, about a year and a half ago at the same Goodwill. And I read it, and it was hilarious, and I really enjoyed it. My One of my best friends has read um, the majority of Chelsea Handler's books. I think she's read all of them. Um, but I really enjoyed this book, so I'm really looking forward to reading My Horizontal Life. Another light and I guess it'll be funny book I bought was um, He's Just Not That Into You. Um, I always think of how they made fun of this book on Gilmore Girls. They... Um, ended up with like 10 copies of this at Lorelei's Inn and they kept saying they got airplane booked. I don't care if it's airplane book or not. Sometimes I just need something really stupid to read and this will be it for now. Um, the last book I found is something that I just needed um, because I have a job interview on Thursday 
at a newspaper and I don't know AP style. So I bought an AP style book and briefing on media law. So I will be reading this one first, unfortunately, but um, I figured I could probably give a little, a few tips from it in my next vlog, you know, for anyone else who's struggling in the world of trying to find employment as I am. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading some of these books and reporting back on how I feel about them and talking more about, you know, writing and publishing and reading and finding good deals on books and hauling them in and trying to fit them somewhere on the bookshelves in my room. All right, so you can follow me on Twitter at Ames Plaza or you can find me on Tumblr at Book Barbie. Um... Click subscribe below um, and leave some comments about what books you that I found that you hate, that you love, that you want to read, or if you're familiar with AP style books, some tips because I could really use them this week. <laughs> but um, I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!